respect their parents. They are rude and impatient. They frequently inhabit taverns and have no self-control. Thankfully, these are not my words, but they do express the all too familiar portrayal of young people in our society. Those words were actually inscribed on a 6,000-year-old Egyptian tomb. Here's another one, I quote, what is happening to our young people? They disrespect their elders. They disobey their parents. They ignore the law. What is to become of them? While this sounds like something you may have even heard somebody say to you, I for one was surprised to have this quote dated to 400 BC, a very, very long time ago. See, if we listen to all the slanderous words that are placed on today's youth, the words that people call us, I'm not sure if what they would say would be any different to those quotes. And disastrously, we know that the more something is said, the more people start to believe it, the more that we start to believe it. I left preparing this speech until very, very last night, very, very late last night, that's how late it was, perhaps even at the early hours of this morning, although I did in fact have those quotes in mind. Yet, since meeting these young people on training weekend, upon witnessing their enthusiasm as they arrived yesterday, upon seeing them debate and seeing them thrive for a moral voice in chamber meetings, it made me realise that I couldn't associate those quotes with these young people at all. Yeah. I look around the room this morning and I see change makers. I see leaders. I see the young people challenging every negative comment about young people who don't care. You, you youth parliamentarians, you care. You want to see a better future and you realise that that future is something that we can almost reach, something we can almost touch. We are so close to bettering our society and all it takes is to have somebody listen to us. Yeah, yeah. See, this is where youth parliament comes in. This program allows you to be heard. It allows you to grow both personally and professionally, and for you to make a real difference in the world around you. You see, I once told a radio station that Youth Parliament allows people to make a real difference. And they responded to me with, but how would going away for a week and writing this piece of parliamentary jargon make any difference at all? All right, you should have heard what I said back. <laughs> The fact is that it isn't just our youth parliamentarians of this year who have made a difference. It's our alumni who are the honourable youth parliamentarians from the last 20 years who have taken their experience and strive to do more. That is making a difference. It's our task force mentors who show our participants that they can be so much more than they had ever thought. That is making a difference. It's our chamber leaders who show us that issues are far more complex than they seem. That is making a difference. It's our presiding officers who ensure that each bill is heard clearly and fairly with dignity. That is making a difference. Today, we're in the presence of MPs, sponsors, school principals, friends and family. And I'd like to thank them for attending and for their ongoing support. You are making a difference. And then there's everybody else who doesn't fit into those categories. Every single person in this chamber and in this gallery. You are listening to these young people. You are moving them one step closer to the changes that seemed so out of reach before. You are giving hope to our youth. Now, I'm not saying that making a difference is easy. I'm not saying that what any of the YMCA staff, the task force or the participants are doing is easy. But what I am saying is that it's worth it. The state has allowed us to be here in state parliament, which is such an incredible honour. Now, in the wise words of a noble gentleman named Spider-Man, <laughs> with great power comes great responsibility. You parliamentarians, we have entrusted you with the power to create a brighter future. But for that, we need you to be the young people of the future and change the impression of young people from the past. It was such a privilege to be elected the Youth Governor, who is the face and voice for youth in our state. And over the last 12 months, I've lived and breathed this program. But it really wouldn't exist if it wasn't for our sponsors, the YMCA, and
and our incredible task force that I cannot thank enough. I'm so very, very proud of every young person in this room. Whether it be during our 20th anniversary program or long into your future, in the even wiser words of Winnie the Pooh, promise me you'll always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think you are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.